Hello, it's the Seahawks fan with another GOAT Battle League video. We got a very powerful Ultra League team, and we have a very fun, shiny Gudra. We have Draco, we land Dracos, and a beautiful lead into Shadow Dragonite. And they do have a Nature's Madness Tapu if we need to pivot into. We are, we have brought in level 50 Perfect Lantern. And we are been debuffed. We get the spark down. Gonna go for the Thunderbolt into the Dragonite returning. Actually, no, we're gonna bait with Surf. We will reach a Thunderbolt. Ooh, we do land that Surf. Do we land Thunderbolt? Kaboom! Red health. And we cannot swap in time, but here comes a go drop. Is that a crunch? It is a crunch. It is a debuff. Going to bank up some energy. They throw the Aqua Tail. No, another Crunch. Okay. I actually have the Charm Clefable for this battle. I am going to be changing it. The shield is valued. And yeah, they were not going to be able to take out what I had left with that Shadow Dragonite. We have our Pidgeot lead. Okay, pretty nice. We still have Charm. Fairy Wind is typically what you would want to run. They get me with the shield with Feather Dance, but we have a Meteor Bash. Could have full send that Moonblast, but it's okay. We do pivot into Gudra, and that is a Brave Bird. Okay, we've taken lots of damage. What do they have for the Dragon? They have a Poliwrath. We cannot reach the Draco, but we could have a... Power Whip, and we grab a shield. Fantastic. And now Lantern. Are they going to be triple weak to Lantern? They're going to debuff me. They're going to debuff me again. That's our best choice. But we get rid of those. We have the Charmer to come in. We're going to Meteor Mash. We want to get damage before they take us out. And they're going to get some extra energy. I think that should be capped. Surf is not enough. We get another charm. Oh, two more charms in. Going to shield the heaviest hitting remove remaining. And we ooh, do not get a spark down. But we have lots of energy for the Polyrath. And we are going to be able to just go for the Thunderbolt. And reach another if it's shielded. Because Skull's not enough, haha, -ha. Skull's not enough. Just barely, whoo. Any worse IVs and I would have been lo a loss. Next battle. We got Jellicent in the lead, okay, worst lead. We bring in Gudra. What are they gonna do? They're gonna save the energy. And we have a long battle into Registeel. We have Aquatail spams, we grab a shield. That's fantastic, taking a shield advantage after losing the lead. And this is Ultra League, and this is a pretty powerful team that keeps these battles a lot longer. Even when sped up, but we are definitely going to land some Dracos. But Reggie Steele... The most one of the most hated Ultra League, but they give us give us swap, give us a right alignment. We do have a Aqua Tail loaded. We cannot reach a Draco to save, but this Jellicent is getting wrecked. We do sh correctly shield the Shadow Ball. Going to throw the Thunderbolt to grab a KO. And they have a Corbellion. Okay, let's see. How do we play this? Play around this? Double kick is going to be resisted. Can we survive and throw the surf? I need that damage. I do. And next, double kick is going to take me out. And we have the uh, Clefable. Stone Edge. And we swap and throw the Aqua Tail grabs the last shield, and we are going to throw the move. 
medium ash, all that energy gone. If they wanted a zap cannon, they were not going to land it. And now, can we take out this Cabalion, the Stone Edge? We have the Moonblast in time. That was close, but another win. And the Dreaded Ultra League. We have an expert up against us. We have a Trevenant lead. Okay. We cannot afford to have Trevenant go up against our fish. We're going to Moonblast. They're going to Shadow Ball. We're going to Shield. Thankfully, they full send it like we did. Do they expect us to full send? We did Shield. Okay, smart. Going to let them land the Shadow Ball. Or is it Sea Bomb? It's Shadow Ball. We survive. Are they going to survive the Moonblast? Kaboom, they do survive. They take us out, but we can drag them down. Let's go. We don't even have to take a seed bomb. We have a Polybath going to throw the Power Bait. We grab a shield. Now, a little tricky. We have to shield, kind of. But we're going to bring in the Lantern. Scald does not grab the knockout, the debuff. We can take them out before their next move is ready. No debuff on me. They have a shadow for alligator. Do they have crunch? They have a move. They throw on CMP tie. Hydrocan is not enough. They may have had an uh, ice beam, but they go down. Let's go. The fish putting in the book. Clefable putting in the book. Here we have... Purified for alligator. Okay, okay. Going to no shield. The hydro cannon. They have a Gliscor. Let's moon blast. Kaboom! And now this Gudra is going to be tanking in the night slash. Oh, earthquake! It survives. That is only a night slash. It's going to be quite low, but. We are going to reach the Dragon Myth down. We fall send the Draco. And this is what you've been waiting for. Kaboom! In two for Alligator. And they are met with Lantern, which two shields is not going to be able to close out that game. Especially with the Clefable still around. Now we have a Tapafini, which is something I wish I had thrown Medium Mash up against. I just like... Forgot it was fairy in that meteor mash actually does super effective. Gonna no shield the first one. Gonna be able to throw the meteor mash this time. It does get some nice damage. I actually get them to throw the energy. They could have definitely gotten the farm down. But we're gonna put trust in the shield advantage with either the fish or the gu uh, gudra. They do debuff me. I want to get rid of the debuff. They have a Giratina, which is tricky to deal with. We're going to no shield the Crunch. We're going to throw the Aqua Tail. Is it going to grab a shield? It is. It has. Should have kind of shielded. I should have kind of just thrown the Aqua Tail. But I'm going to double shield up the Gudra because it is. Tricky to take down Garatina, but we have Draco. Shiny Gudra. Kaboom into the tank. That is Garatina, and they almost get beat by this Gudra. But we have move, and yeah, they, they conceded. The Nukes. Now we have a Clefable into Cresselia. The CVC. Let's see, Moonblast it is. That is nice. We're going to boom blast them in return. They do take it better because they are tankier. We're going to throw the next moon blast. We need some damage on this thing because our backline does not want to see the moon blast grass, not Cresselia. We do commit a shield. We do get them to bring in Tapu Fini. Absolutely gorgeous. Spark is going to add up. We're going to take a lot of damage from a debuffed. Being debuffed, but let's full send the Thunderbolt. They do let it go. Considering they do still have Cresselia, which I'll happily get a Surf onto this, this tank. 
Now, the thing is, they're not going to be able to reach a Moonblast up against my my Gudra, but they do swap in time. They they had the swap time up, which is annoying, but it's fine. Dog Pulse goes on shielded. Going to have back to back Aqua Tails. I do just decide to bring in the Clefable. They can't one shot me unless they have Sludge Ray, which they do. Gonna go for the Nuke. They're gonna not be able to reach two Grass Knots in time. Because, haha, they get Dragon Breath down even being debuffed. We have a Legend. This is not a drill. We have a Legend. And we have the right lead. Can I take them down? They have a Tentacruel Double Water Team. Shadow Kingdra, pretty cool to see that. They scald and no debuff. Let's go, no hacks. Now, I don't mind them whittling me down because Shadow Kingdra would do kind of really good into the Lantern. So, less energy for them to farm up. Although, I do have some vital energy. And if I had more health, they definitely could have taken some more damage. But considering they know I have Clefable, interesting predicament. But two shields a piece still. They have a Gudra. Something that a target for Gudra. And Skeledurge. And I can unleash the Aqua Tails. Aqua Tail buff has helped out Gudra quite a bit. And it has put me into the driver's seat of this endgame. This Disarming Voice is beautiful coverage for Skeledurge to keep itself in the game. But alas for it. Gudra is going to be a little too tanky. And I'm going to reach the next Aqua Tail. Or, oh, no, they, they get me. Well played. They snipe me with the Dragon Breath. Akazuka is not enough, though. And I'm just going to need one move for that Skeledurge. We Meteor Mash, take out them. We have a Moonblast. And goodbye, Skeledurge. I beat a legend. Woohoo! Next battle, we have Garatina in the lead. Beautiful. They have a Shadow Charizard, and they are in a bad, 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 bad spot. I honestly should have just gone for the full form down. Would have been whittled down low enough. But I actually do grab a shield off them. They're trying to, trying to win alignment with shields. So I decided to throw the next move. And let's see, they're waiting out the timer, as I would do that. Just want to get as much damage. They're going to have some nice energy, but they are potentially going to be forced out, forced to swap out. Again, I have a Thunderbolt loaded. A bit more damage than the Surf. But they try to calm me down. I have Clefable to tank this energy really nicely. I just Shadow Sneak, okay. Going to hold on to my energy. I do shield. And they have a Swamp Bird, which... Boom Blast. Kaboom! And we have a Gudra. Now I'm going to no shield. It is our only Hydro Cannon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then so close to flipping this matchup, but... I survived one HP and a dream. I have the Draco. I send this Swamp Bird out of here. And I mean, with the shield, I only need a moon blast, and I shall just be safe, just in case some funny business somehow. But moon blast sends this Garatina out of here. Gotta gotta bring Garatina, or you gotta beat it. And we have a Greedent, one of the best in Ultra League. It's not fully excelled. Maybe it's just too low IVs, but I think it's. Not fully excelled, but it's a problem. Clefable Moonblast gets them under half health. Going to just hope to win alignment. They're going to get another Bottle Slam to chip me down further. And one more fairy win before that Moonblast. Number two, kaboom! We have alignment. They're going to get some Shadow Claw energy. Ooh, we could have thrown the Moonblast, but... A move's a move. 
need to match some decent damage. We kind of wall there. Glissapod and then Gudra kind of walls a lantern. Although they still have belief with that energy advantage, although it's not good for them. This could be a power, but it's not. I should have full send the, the Draco with gaining some extra energy. But I didn't want to debuff myself. I don't need to shield. And they were so close, but kaboom! Get, get one shot by the Draco. Absolutely beautiful. They bring in Gillisapod, all the energy goes down, and they knew. They, they were not going to shield up anything else at that point. Amazing Draco, and we have a beautiful swap counter to their safe swap in Pidgeot. They are going to Feather Dance and debuff me. I should have thrown the Thunderbolt sooner. Going to be double debuffed. And this is actually not going to take them out. But they're not going to be able to take me out with the Brave Bird. No spark down in time. A Brave Bird, some nice damage, which actually is kind of nice. Just going to bring in Gudra. They do have Register Steel. Register Steel, Garatina. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Zap Cannon lands. No debuff. Let's go. Aqua Tail gets some nice damage. Now we have lots of energy on the Lantern, which is our saving grace. They go for an undercharge, I think, on the Zap Cannon. Well, it doesn't take me out. They're going to swap into Giratina, and I did make a mistake. I should have brought in Clefable. So let's get this damage on the Giratina. We do have an Aqua Tail loaded on the Gudra. Going to reach a third move for some important chip. We do still have two shields, so that is fantastic. Clefable, if it was Charm, this would just be over. But with charge attack pressure when they still have a shield, it's just tedious. They bring in Registeel. They do grab our shield, but they have like no energy. We do, They almost took us out. Got a little greedy, but... They go down. There was enough lock-ons. That, that was enough to just be a little bit, feel more safer. Now, can I fairy wind farm down? Have the moon blast for that Garatina. Oh, oh I've been time out and I throw to get the KO. So they only have one Pokemon. And that's a win. It was registered as a win. Beautiful. Five minute time, time out paddle. And we... Are gonna meet another good list of pod with Lantern. And I'm gonna full send the Thunderbolt, Shield, or Knockout, and I knock out. Now, is a Shadow Dragon gonna be able to power through? Not gonna be good enough for them. They are gonna Shield, which is fantastic. They throw before I throw Surf or reach another Thunderbolt. And Switch Timer is not up yet. I'm going to go for a medium ash knockout or their last shield. Last shield. They do have a Jellicent and this Jellicent. They're going to let me go and land the Draco. May as well shield. Send a message of like, haha, you can't take, get the damage on me. And kaboom. Ooh, Jelly survives. Okay. Oh, hold on to this shield. To stop that. Dragonite. Actually, going to go for the fairy wind down. Haha. <laughs> now we have another legend. Is this going to be the same as the first matchup? Shadow Gliscor, we are going to go for the Moonblast. We do not land it. Okay, okay, okay. We grab a shield. Are they going to EQ? They Night Slash, and that is uh, bad. That is the legend difference. They land the EQ. I survive. I have a last gas moon blast. Kaboom! Into the shield. Okay, but we are going to... 
I think I may have been able to throw and land it, but here we are. Draco into Cresselia. We are going to be debuffed. But we do have a Lantern, which can actually do good against the Gliscor. But oh no, oh no. I don't think I could have reached that next. Draco. But they take me out. Let's go. I'll get some farm on my Lantern. I need to make a catch, and I do not. My last shield is gone. Let's see what comes in. Jellicent, okay, going to go for the Thunderbolt. And now, the the legend difference. I uh, didn't realize how much energy left on the Shadow Glide score. And yeah, if I made a catch on this move, there would have been hope. Definitely hope. But the last well played. Did not get rid of that Shadow Glide score. Legend difference, cool by them. Shiny Obstagoon. Then, sh well, just Annihilate. Actually, maybe is this a Shiny Annihilate? No, it's not. Double weak to this lead. Pretty unfortunate for them. It is only a Ice Punch. I'm going to full send the Moonblast. Kaboom. Takes him out. Shield the piece, but they've lost a Pokemon. I've not even lost half health on my first. And seeing the Jellicent just fine using Gudra here. Maybe able to land a, a Draco. Gonna go for the Draco. And here we land it. Kaboom! And considering we have a full health lantern. Yeah, beautiful. But we're gonna bring in Clefable because that energy from Obstagoon is not gonna do much. And we're gonna be able to reach a Moonblast for the Jelly. We throw a Fairy Wind before Moonblast and they should concede. We're gonna stay in. We're gonna shield. We must preserve the health. And now we have the Thunderbolt and Kaboom into Jellicent. Now let's see. Next battle we have a Shadow Dragonite lead once again. Swapping a little slow, but here we are. They're going to debuff me with Nature's Madness. Now, it's still kind of tricky, but we're just going to full send the Thunderbolt. Into a shield. Would have been amazing to bait Surf. Throwing the Surf was a mistake, but thankfully did not register. Now they, they can get Surf down. Are we going to be able to reach a Thunderbolt for that Dragon? Yes, we do. And we are going to have no shield for them or very low health. Yellow health, Shadow Dragonite. Clefable scares it off. We have a Lantern Wall in the Gudra. Next battle, we have a bad lead into Skullidurge. That is okay. We're going to bring in Gudra. They do have a Guzzlord. Do they expect the Draco? Kaboom! Into the Guzzlord. Guzzlord getting absolutely smoked. We are debuffed, but we do force a, a move. This Disarming Voice takes us out. We have the right alignment. I'm going to shield up a Shadow Ball because that is a lot of damage. Surf is going to... Grab a shield. Beautiful. We're going to be able to survive. The Shadow Ball. Let's go. Two more sparks before we throw the next move. The next Surf. They win the CMP Tide. Energy is going to go, but I do want to have this Lantern around still. It is a for Alligator. And I did get some nice spark damage. They predicted me to try and make a catch. I would not have been able to reach Thunderbolt before they threw their energy. But Moonblast, attack drop. Oh my gosh. They have two moves and that Hydro Cannon was not enough with the debuff. Let's go. 
We have a Tail Blade into Shadow Steelix, and here comes Gujra as a Peace Offering. Aqua Tail for some big damage. And they do have a Polyrath, okay. Unfortunately, we'd rather any of our other Pokemon up against Polyrath, but we do grab a shield, which is vital. I may have needed to have brought in Lantern, but taking the energy onto Clefable is fine. We have a Moonblast. We're going to full send it. And Moonblast. And now two shields for the Lantern. Does Lantern have what it takes? They debuff me. They should be in Surf range. I did not throw in time. Going for extra energy. Another spark before the Surf is thrown. I am double debuffed. They're going to commit their last shield. Oh, they have for Alligator. Shadow Claw's not going to do enough in time. And kaboom! They get nuked. One more spark takes them out. They do take me out. But I have two shields. I have... The Clefable. Gonna Moonblast. Am I going to be able to reach a Meteor Mash in time? The Power of the Fairy Wind. Although Charm probably would have been able to win this also. And I am able to do enough. Let's go. Meteor Mash takes out the Steelix. Clefable getting revenge for a terrible lead. Let's see, next battle, who do we have to face off? We have a Galvantula. Gonna bring in my electric type. They do stay in, which is a little worrisome, but definitely a better target for Clefable in the back. We're gonna go for Surf's. Gonna be some respectable damage, gain them under half health. We're gonna survive the next move, just trying to chip away at this thing. May regret it, may not. We've seen this battle, so potentially safe guess to result. The next surf grabs a shield. Let's go. Gujra comes in. We can take the energy comfortably. They do debuff me. Ooh, they have Greninja. Okay, gonna bring in Clefable. Make a catch of that Night Slash. Beautiful, because as a, fairy, as a dragon, they resist water so they were not going to throw hydro cannon we do have a amphros which let's just save the shields for gudra electric does not beat dragon i did let that energy go to no did not let it go to waste but one more fairy wind before moonblast kaboom and gonna be a little awkward still but aqua tail grabs a shield Not going to be able to reach a Draco in time, but it's fine. We can tank around long enough. They're going to be forced to throw, and they're going to get Dragon Breath down. Or back-to-back -back moves, and Fairy Wind will take out this frog. Super long battles, but Gudra, Clefable, Lantern, powerful team. We have an awful lead into Shadow Charm Gramble. We do have the Shield Removers in Medium Ash. Gonna throw the next move to grab the last shield. And we're gonna take a lot of damage onto Lantern because we cannot bring in the Gudra. All the shields down, hopefully I can Draco at least something. I don't want to take as any more damage, so serve for the KO. Now, they have Mana Buzz. Beautiful. Super weak to Lantern for them. One more spark before the neck, well, before Thunderbolt. And then maybe it's time to bring in Gudra, or we just stay in. We're going to be probably saving the shield for Gudra. And I'm going to reach the next Thunderbolt, taking out the Mandibuzz. And yeah, double V2 Lantern. Now they are going to be able to Icy Wind and debuff me, but that's not going to stop 
if I'm dragging them down. And kaboom, and that's wrapped to this super long Ultra League video. The, the battles take, take some long, but hope you enjoyed the team. If you have success with it, let me know. Subscribe for daily Go Battle League videos and like the video if you enjoyed it. Helps out the channel a lot. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.